Most of us dream of traveling to different parts of the world. It's a dream come true, but what if the travel you dream of ends in tragedy? In today's movie recap, a group of friends finds themselves in a tragic plane crash. Witness how they survive this tragedy. Brandon wakes up from a bad dream, realizing it's already morning. He gets dressed, has breakfast while listening to announcements, and reads the newspaper, deciding it's time to leave. At the airport, two men, Kyle and Jed, chat near the exit. They wait for Jed's girlfriend, Ava, who arrives unexpectedly with her family's bodyguard, Brandon, dragging his belongings. Jed is surprised when Ava reveals that Brandon is joining them on the trip, prompting her to apologize. Kyle talks to Brandon, mentioning that every situation has the potential for violence and playfully pointing out a few passengers at the airport. Meanwhile, Ava continues her conversation with Jed. He explains to Ava that her family should not always be involved in everything. She assures Jed that they'll mostly see Brandon from behind since he's always with them. Ava then kisses Jed and Brandon hands his phone to Ava as her father wants to check how she is. Marty and Hank, along with their granddaughter Rosa, are at the airport organizing their belongings. While arranging things, Marty tells Rosa that as she grows up, she starts resembling her mother. As they walk through the airport, Marty tells her that she will do something for a while, leaving Rosa curious about her destination, to which Marty simply replies, surprise, as they continue on. An airport employee also notices Ava as the daughter of a governor. While Hank and Rosa are walking and chatting, Rosa accidentally drops her teddy bear. As Ava, Jed, and Kyle walk, they discuss Ava's law school and her job choice that she doesn't really like. Jed asks Ava what she has learned about herself, and Ava responds by saying that they are going on vacation to unwind and forget about school, not to an interrogation. Meanwhile, Rosa frantically searches her bag for her missing teddy bear. In her haste, she collides with Ava, who is holding a cup of coffee. The coffee spills onto Ava's clothes, leading her to scold Rosa. Frightened, Rosa runs back to Hank for comfort. Ava, realizing her harsh reaction, feels guilty and decides to search for the teddy bear herself. A smile returns to Rosa's face when Ava hands her the recovered teddy bear. Afterward, Ava approaches Brandon and reminisces about their childhood. She expresses gratitude for Brandon continuing to accompany her even she is already a grown-up. On the airplane, stewardess Danilo greets everyone before entering. While walking inside, Brandon informs Ava that they've passed their seats. However, Ava explains they'll be sitting separately as they are boarding from the rear. During takeoff, Danilo demonstrates safety procedures. When Kyle mocks him, Ava scolds him and makes him stop. Later, when Kyle asks for a drink, Danilo pretends to spill it on him as revenge, leaving a satisfied smile on his face as he passes by. Meanwhile, Rosa and her grandparents playfully bond and have a great time. During the flight, Ava notices there aren't many passengers on the plane. Kyle jokingly remarks that the plane is old, so no one wants to take the risk. Jed explains that not many people book flights on the chosen date. Kyle teases again, saying the plane's wings are fragile. Shortly after, birds enter the jet engine, causing some instability in the airplane. The staff reassured everyone, saying that everything would be okay. While Rosa is looking outside the plane, she noticed that the jet engine slowly breaking apart. Alarmed, she quickly pointed it out to her grandmother. Panic ensued, and everyone fastened their seatbelts. Suddenly, a part of the jet engine struck one side of the plane, causing a breach. Passengers not wearing seatbelts were sucked out of the airplane due to the high pressure. Attempts to rescue some were futile as they were pulled out by the strong vacuum of pressure. A stewardess also got caught in the vacuum while trying to help a passenger. Brandon and Ava exchanged a look as the plane descended. The plane plummeted and crashed into the sea, resulting in casualties among the passengers. Brandon was hit by a small metal piece in the chest during the fall and Kyle suffered a broken hand upon impact. After a while, the airplane gradually sank into the sea. The middle part of the plane filled with water, but the rear part remained above the surface. Danilo entered and asked if everyone was okay. While seated, Brandon suddenly emerged from the middle part, carrying Marty and Rosa. Brandon quickly removed the small metal piece lodged in his chest. Unfortunately, Marty drowned and lost consciousness. Danilo immediately performed CPR, successfully expelling water from Marty's body, saving her life. They inquired about Hank and Brandon sadly reported his passing. Tears flowed and Jed was anxious, but Brandon reassured and calmed them. He suggested they stay put in the airlock for safety. Danilo mentioned that the pilot radioed before the crash, so authorities would soon be aware of their situation. When Kyle heard this, he told Danilo that he said the same thing, that they would be okay. Brandon then shut Kyle down, saying that Danilo was right. In case they run out of air inside, Brandon instructed Danilo to look for an air tank. Unable to find one, Marty suggested they take the oxygen tank from a man she saw among the passengers. Brandon quickly took action to retrieve the air tank. 
Before he dove underwater, Marty asked if Brandon could bring Hank's cap to her. Brandon bravely dives underwater, retrieves Hank's cap, and secures the oxygen tank. However, a shark suddenly attacks him through a hole. He struggles as the shark bites his side, but fortunately he manages to escape and delivers the oxygen tank and cap to the group. Brandon warns Ava to stay away, apologizes, and bids her farewell. As Ava sees a significant hole in Brandon's side, he tells her to be strong before getting pulled back into the waters. Ava sees this, causing them to retreat in fear. She also cries over Brandon's fate. Marty notices a significant drop in the morale of the group, so she suggests they wait and plan. They then turn their attention to Kyle's injury, and due to the intense pain, he screams as they straighten his broken bone. Meanwhile, a rescue helicopter is deployed to find the location of the plane crash. The radio operator tells the rescue chopper to intensify the search operation because one of the passengers is the child of a governor. After a while, Jed talks to Ava and suggests they take action. However, Ava says they should just wait for the rescue if they don't want to end up like Brandon. Shortly after, the airplane weakens due to water pressure and water begins to seep through. Jed suggests again that waiting for rescue is not a good idea. He is ignored by the group and they continue to share stories about their departed loved ones. Some of them cry as they recall memories with their loved ones. While talking, they saw that the water turned bloody, realizing that sharks are eating the corpses of their loved ones. Above them, rescue helicopters continue to search for them. While conversing, suddenly a shark collided with them, wanting to get inside. Danilo asked how much time they think they have left, and Ava mentioned it might be around three to four hours. The plane was creating buzzing sounds, but Danilo dismissed it as nothing. Jed rolled his eyes, and when Danilo noticed, he said that Jed doesn't believe him because he's just a stewardess. Jed replied, saying that he has an engineering degree. He mentioned that the airplane is significantly fragile compared to a submarine designed for underwater conditions. He asserts that at any moment, the plane could give way and water could flood in. Shortly after, the lights inside the plane went out as it continued to slip further downward. They found themselves near the edge of a seamount, with a slight movement of the plane away from the edge potentially causing them to descend to the ocean floor. Inside, the airplane began to malfunction. In their new position, the plane's angle became steeper. Recognizing the dangerous situation, Ava herself suggested that they had no choice but to attempt swimming upward. Jed, with concern, asked how they would handle the sharks. Rosa recalled what they were taught in school about sharks and shared that sharks are afraid of bubbles. However, Jed mentioned that they wouldn't be able to ascend to the surface without air. They discussed possible solutions to their air problem, but no one could come up with a solution. To keep their spirits up, Ava said she would try to think of a way to ascend. Ava excused herself to use the restroom, but she simply cried inside while looking at a photo of herself with her mother. While the rescue helicopters continue their search, they finally locate the crash site and deploy their two scuba divers. While diving, the two divers see their airplane on the edge of a seamount. Seeing that the light of the airplane's cockpit is turned on, they swim closer to it. Their group continues searching for things that can help them ascend. Rosa asked Ava if she was scared, and Ava quickly realized that Rosa was getting anxious. So she approached her and consoled her, assuring her that they would be able to survive. A few moments later, the two scuba divers approached their location. They eventually saw them, and the whole group was filled with hope. While one of the scuba divers signaled to them, they saw a shark. He pulled the scuba diver down, and the group was once again enveloped in fear upon seeing the diver's bloody, severed leg. The two soldiers in the plane left because the airplane ran out of gasoline, and they believed that the scuba divers had enough experience and could handle the situation. Meanwhile, in the airplane, Ava and her companions brainstormed on how they could escape. Ava thought of using the scuba tank of one of the deceased scuba divers, so she dove down to the part of the plane already submerged in water to search for the body. After resurfacing, Jed asked Ava if she found anything. Ava replied that she wasn't sure, so she tried diving again to check. Upon resurfacing again, she informed Jed that she found something. At the same time, Jed accidentally fell into the water, but he managed to stay afloat. However, a shark noticed him and started pulling him underwater. Ava and the others tried to rescue Jed, but unfortunately, the shark had severed one of his legs. Jed screamed in pain, and Rosa was guided by Marty to stay behind the curtain and warned not to go near the water. Marty assisted Jed with his severed leg and provided initial first aid. Jed asked Ava about the severity of his injury, and Ava mentioned that the bleeding had stopped. Jed, confused about not feeling his leg, was informed by Marty that he had lost his leg below the knee. Jed, torn between tears and laughter due to the incident, had his foot covered by Marty while Rosa was ushered in. Danilo stood up, moved the cabinets, and opened the compartment at the back, handing the flashlight to Ava. Ava mentioned that the special language they were looking for was on the right side. 
Ava entered and dove down, searching for the languages when suddenly an octopus appeared in front of her. Ava surfaced, holding one language. She noticed that there were only four masks. Kyle observed that Jed looked pale, prompting her to ask Ava to check on him. Ava talked to Jed, reminding him of his desire to go to Alaska. She assured him that they would go there soon. Jed replied that Ava always says that but Ava insisted that this time it's for real. Ava then apologized to Jed for leading him into this situation. While talking to Jed, Ava noticed something on the window and suddenly they all heard a strange noise, prompting them to look out the window together. Marty checked Jed's pulse, apologized to Ava, and Ava wondered why Marty was apologizing. She saw Jed lifeless and attempted CPR while crying, but Danilo stopped her, realizing there was nothing more they could do. As Ava cried, she expressed that Jed wanted to help her, but he died because of her. She mentioned that Jed always tried to be brave, yet she herself couldn't be brave. Marty covered Jed's body with a jacket and the airplane started making more noise as it continued to break apart. Ava checked what was happening, telling her companions that they needed to leave as soon as possible. Kyle disagreed, thinking they couldn't do it now as they might become shark food. Ava suggested using the bubbles as Rosa mentioned and the gas canisters for breathing. There were plenty more canisters and all they needed was to grab scuba protection. Ava noticed Kyle's distress and asked how he was. Kyle struggled, recounting a traumatic incident when he was taken to a swimming pool by his father. While diving deep, he encountered trouble and despite holding his breath, his father didn't help and he only managed to surface in time. Rosa asked how long he held his breath and Kyle said two minutes, to which Ava stated that it's enough. Ava continued to gather canisters for more bubbles despite suddenly hearing noise. They pressed on with their preparations. Ava spotted sharks through the window, but she ignored them. She asked Rosa about her dreams and Rosa expressed her desire to become a vet. In turn, Rosa asked Ava about her plans and Ava shared that she would return to college in October to finish law school. Kyle questioned their companions about their plans after escaping and Danilo revealed his intention to marry his partner. He also advised Kyle to choose wisely when it comes to love. Kyle mentioned that he doesn't have any plans except that if it he's a lucky guy. Danilo nodded and suggested they leave the area. After they prepared, Ava approached lifeless body of Jed. Suddenly, they heard another noise and the plane started to move. Kyle panicked because they were sliding down. Ava tried to calm him, but Kyle remained anxious. Ava looked out the window and assessed the plane's condition. Kyle asked her what she saw, but Ava claimed she didn't see anything. Kyle, skeptical, checked the window and observed that the plane was beginning to crack. Kyle noticed a can of drink, so he drank it to calm his panic. The plane split in half, but they managed to stay okay. Ava assured them that they could still get home as long as they avoided making rush movements. Ava took the lead in planning their actions. She suggested sharing the scuba tank until they reached the surface, emphasizing the importance of not hesitating. She looked at Kyle, seeking confirmation if he believed in her plan. After responding, they heard another noise and felt the plane move. Marty pleaded with Ava to take care of her grandchild, saying she will do everything for her grandchild. Ava agreed, so Marty spoke to Rosa, reminding her of their visits to the zoo where she always won her grandfather always stood in front while she was at the back. Marty explained to Rosa that her grandfather continued to watch over her in the form of a spirit. Rosa, with tears in her eyes, agreed, and Marty entrusted Rosa to Ava. Ava instructed Rosa to pull the cord if they spotted a shark and they wore their goggles. Before leaving, Marty expressed she is proud with Rosa. Ava and Rosa dove down, creating bubbles when they encountered a shark, successfully deterring it. Meanwhile, Danilo and Kyle followed suit, but Marty decided to stay on the plane. She whispered to her husband to watch over Rosa before meeting her demise. Kyle noticed Marty's decision and went back for her, motivating himself with deep breaths, but unfortunately the shark pulled him away, leaving Danilo with no choice but to leave. Meanwhile, Ava and Rosa continued swimming, discovering the lifeless scuba diver. They took the oxygen tank to breathe and were eventually joined by Danilo. Ava inquired about the others, but she noticed Danilo alone, shaking his head. They exchanged oxygen and detached the tank from the deceased scuba diver, preparing to ascend when Ava suddenly pulled the cord attached to Rosa and Dan, allowing them to rise to the surface. Upon reaching the surface, Ava spotted a shark, managing to hide. However, the airplane descended, causing Ava to plummet. She struggled to swim upward but eventually lost consciousness. Fortunately, her life jacket brought her to the surface. Upon regaining consciousness, she searched for Rosa and Danilo. She only found Rosa's small teddy bear floating when helicopters arrived. They threw a rope to Ava, lifted her, and to her relief, she saw Danilo and Rosa. The soldier asked Ava if anyone else was left behind, but Ava shook her head. Rosa mentioned her grandma, but Ava shook her head and Rosa hugged her, shedding tears. Ava gave Rosa the teddy bear, but Rosa mentioned her grandpa's advice that the bear should be with her during tough times.
She believed that she no longer needed it, so she decided to return it to the sea.